America. The Great Melting Pot. Hundreds of different cultures both bubbling together like cheese on a hot plate to form a single great nation. Each of you will research one nationality of your family heritage. And then I want you to bust a hype presentation for the class. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the variety of ethnic spices we have in our very own little melting pot. My family can be traced back hundreds of years to the Kanaka Maui people of the Hawaiian archipelago. The Lederhosen lineage is descended from the Bavarian royalty. You might say we are the Bavarian cream of the crop. We are 100% African American. Uh, I think my family's from Cleveland, maybe? I've never told you about our family history, Peppy? Shame on me. Your great uncle Miran immigrated here from the old country in 1915, barely escaping the persecution Boring. of... Boring. Isn't there something in here a little more exotic? Well, this is only our recent history. I know your grandparents have traced the Lily family back centuries. This is it. The life-size Lily family tree. Whoa. Am I up there? You betcha! Branch 9, Trig 42! As you can see, the tree dates back to the early 1300s and is comprised of four main trunks. English, Belgian, Polish, and Russian. Each plaque represents hundreds of years in... There's got to be something up here more exciting than that. Isn't there a chance that one of our ancestors' DNA was fused with extraterrestrials? Didn't your Aunt Gertrude have an extra thumb on her left hand? Dirty could type like nobody's business. <laughs> hey, what's this? Uh, well, uh, you see, Peppy, um, after your parents' divorce, uh, well, uh, we, uh... It's your father's side of the family! I'm sorry, Pepper Ann. All I really know is that my father was British and my mother's side of the family originally came from Spain. And you don't have any clue beyond that? Well, now, wait a second. There is something. My mother gave it to me. It was passed down on her side of the family from your great-great-grandmother, who was a Navajo. Wow. I never knew much about her. All I know is that I'm one-eighth Navajo, so I guess that makes you one-sixteenth American Indian, Pepper Ann. You mean I'm a real-life Indian? Cool! For my presentation, I will be tracing the religious struggles of the Little family in Britain, from the early stages of Calvinism through their pilgrimage to the New World in the mid-18th century. Check it out! I'm an Indian! <laughs> It's all set. Mom helped me track down some real live Navajos living right here in Hazelnut. They're coming over tonight to help me with my report. Ask them about their art and craft techniques, PA. Navajo weaving is totally legendary. The contributions of all American Indian tribes to our national culture have been long overlooked. Oh, I totally know what you mean. Where would the Lone Ranger have been without Tonto? Pepper Ann, while your enthusiasm is commendable... Maybe we should help you out with your research. Maybe, maybe. This girl needs help more than the Donner Party needed a compass and a hot pizza. P.A., check this. The Navajo language is way complex. And precise. There are over 30 ways to say the word wind in Navajo. After you knock the cavalry guys off their horses, you can press Control-Alt-T to tomahawk them. The Navajo people place incredible importance on their children. Newborn babies are welcomed into the tribe with this cool blessing ritual called a Hosanihi. Why does the Pale Ones disrespect our good earth so? Ta-da! What do you think? Should I go with the Village Persons Ensemble, or should I stick with the Blando Lakes Butter Look? I don't think you're ready to meet with this Navajo family. What are you talking about? This ensemble screams, Indian. Heather Ann, you're basing all of this on stereotypes. She's right, P.A. Just because I'm Hawaiian, you don't see me walking around in a grass skirt dancing the hula. At least, not often. You cannot hope to understand the special bond they share with my tribe. Unlike you two, we paint with all the colors of the wind. Are you sure they're going to want to eat all this? I mean, it is only September. Mom, haven't you seen the pictures of the first Thanksgiving? This is the authentic food of my people. 
But, Peppy, the American Indians who participated in the first Thanksgiving were Algonquins, not Navajos. My people are close. Ten, maybe fifteen minutes away. They're not due for another two hours. They're ten, maybe fifteen minutes away. Peppy, this book doesn't say anything about the Navajos using war drums. Just keep banging or it's back in the cradle board with you. You must be Pepper Ann. How? Now don't tell me, let me guess. You must be something like Taming Bear or He Who Shoots Arrow with Big Bow. <laughs> Am I close? Well, I'm Dave. This is my mom and dad, Carol and Bob. And the quiet one in the back is my grandfather, Andy. You know, not all American Indians have American Indian names. Just like not all Italian Americans are named Vinny or Vito. I'm just glad you followed my smoke signals. I was afraid you might have been lost driving around in your horseless carriage. <gasps> Uh, actually, we just downloaded directions from the internet. Well, come in, come in. My TP is your TP. Actually, the traditional Navajo dwelling is called a hogan, and it's built. This is my little sister Moose. You can call her Running Moose or Jumping Moose or Vinny if you want. That's my mom, and the cat over there is Steve, my spirit guide. Oh, I hope you're all hungry. Of course they're hungry, Mom. The white man has driven the once plentiful buffalo herds from our plains. Never had buffalo. Tried that ostrich meat once. Supposed to be very low in fat. Well, say, have you tried that crab with a K? You know, they say it's imitation, but you would swear it... Hold it, wait. I've set up our little powwow out back. Peppy, I really don't think... Pepper Ann, your braided hair looks like it might be Lakota. Navajo men and women traditionally wear their hair twisted into a chongo, a figure-eight shape. Yeah, I was going for a kind of Pocahontas thing, but it sort of turned into more of a sporty spike. Pepper Ann, I think you need to understand that... Who wants corn on the cob? <sighs> Please excuse my pale-faced mother. She means maize. Ah, sure has been hot lately. Hot and dry. Now you're talking. Who's up for a little rain dance? Whoa, 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 whoa. Enough. Uh, do you have any idea how offensive this is to our culture? I thought you invited us here to learn about being Navajo. Oh, totally. I want to learn how to sneak up on people without them hearing. How to give gifts and take them right back again. You know, all that good stuff. Everyone, the car. Now. What? What did I do? Can't we just smoke up in the peace pipe and talk this over? I recognize your belt. Both these Navajo Concho belts were made by my great-grandfather, an ancestor we both share. Unfortunately, that is all we share. What happened? I thought I was just learning about my background. That's just it, Peppy. You weren't interested in learning anything. They barely got to talk. All I wanted to do was show them how much I knew about our culture from stuff I picked up on TV and in the movies and from comic books and... Yes, but that's what stereotyping is, Peppy. Even when it's done with the best of intentions. You can't believe things about any group of people without getting to know them first. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, but, uh... I guess I owe you all an apology. What's she doing here? Tell Polka Moranis to hit the bricks or I'll... I respect you for coming here. And I believe that your intentions are good. But the best way to learn about any people is to drop your preconceived notions and approach them with an open mind and heart. Whoa! Are you like the wise medicine man of your tribe? <laughs> You're thinking only in stereotypes again, my friend. I was a corporate lawyer for 20 years. Come on, sit down. We ordered Chinese. There are over 300 federally recognized American Indian tribes in North America, and each one has its own distinctive culture and heritage. The name Navajo was given to our people by the Spanish missionaries. We call ourselves Diné. The old Navajo land, the Dineta, stretched from what is now Colorado through New Mexico and into Arizona. It is believed that the earliest Diné may have migrated to this land from the north over 1,200 years ago.
And then, during World War II, the Navajo language was used as a code for the U.S. Navy in the South Pacific and was never broken. Today, the Navajo Nation is one of the largest American Indian tribes in the United States. And I'm proud that my heritage includes a people who are some of the original ingredients to our great American melting pot.